there everyone, welcome to my tutorial on how to make the BF-109. So this is the blueprints I used on this aircraft. And you also need a the blueprints on how it looks like from the sides. And while I used 5 of these things, because you only need 5. You If you use more than 5, it makes the aircraft really heavy and it might not fly. Using about 4 or 5 should be enough. I recommend 5 with this one. You should use the one that's right behind, right where the propeller is. The second one should be right between the propeller and the cockpit. The third one is where it should be right when the cockpit starts. The third one, I mean the fourth one, should be right when the cockpit ends. And the last one should be between the cockpit and the tail. I know that seems complicated, but you'll see how it will look like later on. So once you do that, you need to make it, you need to fold a piece of paper and trace them over. So you get the both sides. And after doing that, you glue it onto a piece of paper. And you cut it out to make it thicker. And the, I use hot glue. So it will be more rigid and stronger. But still not make it too heavy. And right between the dirt and the sex. Because when, when you trace it, there's a line. You draw that line. And what the grease is, put it, poke it. It was a hole right there. And you're going to put a bamboo stick right through it. And after doing that, you make it the correct distance from each other. And also between D and C, don't put glue in the inside right there. Because that's where the cockpit is going to go. So see in front of D, there's no glue. And behind of C, there's no glue either. So make sure to do that. And just glue on front of C. But don't put glue behind C. In between B and C, put a piece of paper that has a V shape. And this is where the, w the wings are gonna go through. Uh, for the wings, I use a bamboo stick, broke it in half, and tape it with electrical tape. So it makes like a V shape. And you would just put it be in the right in the middle between B and C. Also, on top of it, put a toothpick. So it makes it thicker. And it makes like, gives the wing more volume. So that's how it should look like right now. That's the fall how she look like every once in a while I just take a picture so you can see how it looks looks like in order to make the outside shell of the aircraft the skin or whatever you get a piece of paper and you fold it maybe like half a centimeter not much and cut it all around the sides this is gonna make like an you can fold it and you can like wrap it around uh, each rib and you'd like make it how the correct angles and everything it's complicated but I can't really sh take pictures of it and it's like explain it how it did you need to figure it out on your own and in order to make the next one you overlap them just a little bit and always start from the back don't start on the front because it's like the you know the sh how on houses how yeah like how each one is stacked on top of each other so it makes it like for the rain to fall it makes it more aerodynamic also right there make a little hole right there that's where the wheels gonna go in order to make it the wheels you just make a piece of paper use the blueprints in the beginning to see how big it needs to be and a paper clip you fold it to make like a cane and you put in the wheel from the other side and once it gets center you like close it in so it won't come out see you put it from the stri straight side in and do the curve And 
and when it's the curve, you just use like a, I don't know, a sharpie and like hit it against the table. So it's nice and secure then. The bad thing, the wheels won't be able to spin, but at least it has wheels. Because not all of my airplane has wheels. Now you get some toothpicks, color it whatever color you want, white, gray, black. I'm not sure what color it really was, but I chose gray. And you glue it on the, the paper clip on the toothpick and also put another toothpick and wrap it around with string. This is going to make the wheels move and up and down. Like you, what you see right here. I always like to use hot glues because it's really strong. Like it holds pretty well. And see what the the top right there? You glue it on to the sides right there. The on the sides of the V. So yeah. Then you should but you need to cut it a lot so it doesn't stick out. And where the hole is right there on the wing, that's where the wheels go. So that's how it looks like. These wheels actually lock into place. But I don't know, I think I should keep it a secret. Because it's like it's my own idea. I came everything I did in this video I came up with myself. So I'm just sharing my discoveries with you guys. And I didn't take any pictures so I can't really show you. It's gonna be a secret for, for now until I advanced the technology I just discovered, so easier to understand and everything. Also, put now put paper between B and C, but don't put it between C and D because that's what the cockpit is. Just put paper over it. And that's it. And also, you're gonna make some the horizontal stabilizers. You just, you just like fold the piece of paper in half and cut it out basically, but leave some extra space so you can open it and like glue it onto the airplane fuselage. Not sure why I took this picture, but okay. Also, once you you should do the same thing to the bottom. Just like put paper, but make like little room for the wheels to go up and down. And right here, in the bottom, put two sticks. So because you're gonna remove the middle stick, these two sticks are where the I'm gonna put paper on top of, it and that's where the chair's gonna go. See, the middle stick's not gone, so you, you didn't even move that because that's where the chair's gonna go. And you see how it looks like for right now. And the next picture. So that's how it should look like right now. We're like around a third done already. It's been eight minutes. I take a lot of pictures, like, because I usually put them on Facebook after the day's over. And, yeah. That's a really blurry picture. So, what I did here is it's basically the same thing I did between in the cockpit. I just removed the middle stick, but I put four toothpicks around it this time. To make it more stronger because that's the nose, it has to be strong in order to sort of impacts. And it's pretty strong. The wings are the weakest part of this aircraft because remember when we made a hole right there for the wheels? It made it really weak. I try to just use this to like fold the toothpicks for the propeller.
but it broke anyway, so I just taped it back together, so it's not very useful. This is a three bladed propeller aircraft, so it's gonna it's a little bit tricky to tape them together, but it's possible. And also get some paper and like glue it onto the each toothpick. And make sure to angle it somehow. Like it's thick in the middle but gets wider and flatter on the, the sides because that's how propellers are like to create thrust see how thick in the middle and wide on the sides the t edges and actually when you flick it it actually creates a little bit of wind but obviously it's not going to get a lot of wind because it's only going like 1 rpm but still creates some wind And it spins pretty fast. It's my fastest spin propeller and an airplane I've ever made. And when I draw it, it actually spins as as it flies, kind of like a windmill. It's really cool. So I just covered paper and the uh, inside of the cockpit. This is a really nice picture I took. From, I found from Google Images. It shows a lot of how, how it looks like from the inside. In about three fourths of the cockpit, you need like put a paper, and I, so it goes up, and I think it goes like diagonal at a forty-five degree angle. And color the inside silver because that's how it was in the picture, and it, I think it's like that in real life. In order to make the share. You make it like an L shape thing, put paper and gl glue it onto the s both sides. And then you like cut it out, but leave some extra space. So it creates like um, armrests kind of, but they didn't have armrests. So you won't fall off the chair, I think. That's how it looks like. I color it brown, so it looks like leather. I'm not sure how, I think it was out of leather back then. Not sure. And the sides, it's silver. Also, if you really want to, you can cut out really thin strips of paper. And I could glue it on to the chair, so it looks like seat belts. Kind of like that, but that's a little bit too thick, I think. But it still looks nicer, I think. So it's just you glue it on in the space. Right there, and I will use a paper clip right there to make a the joystick, and I colored the uh, the control panel with like stuff. Yeah, that's what I colored in. <laughs> really creative, I know. Very artistic. But it's better than nothing, I guess. Now to make the wings, you like get a paper and like fold it in half and just glue it on basically. Then you can like just cut it out and you make the wings. It's really simple. Make sure that you only use one sheet of paper because if you use two, it will make the wings thicker and 
it will be less aerodynamic and uh, won't, most likely won't fly very well. Also when you clue it on, make sure the wheels aren't inside. But now put it on the top of the wings and like trace it out. They can cut it out. So leave some room for the wheels to go in. Like that now. And we're almost done already. So see that that's how it looks like. Also, right in the middle between A and B, put another a square sheet of paper that fits inside of there. So again, when the propeller is spinning, it's not shaking. So use use this more less energy shaking, vibrating than spinning. And also, when in the out of, in the back of the propeller, make like a cone shape almost. So it's like a spin, like a spinning top. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but it loses, it creates less friction. That's how the propeller works really well. Also, also don't forget the horizontal stabilizer. Just like two toothpicks supporting it. It's very simple to make sure I glue it on. And also with a cockpit, just put paper around it and cut it out. Not very complicated. Don't forget to add the two cannons on the wings. I think they're cannons. Not sure if they're cannons or machine guns. But the BF-109 had two cannons and two machine guns. Also, use a toothpick to like make creases right there. And these are like the um, channels where the bullets go. And so now you have two holes right there. You could put like, cut it out, put toothpicks inside of it. So it looks like cannons. I mean, or machine guns. Not sure what they are. Again. That's a side view. This airplane was actually really pack heavy. Not sure why. That's a cockpit. I use water, water bottles to make it because it's, it's nice because it's already naturally curved. So it's just glue it on. That's the cannons right there. I use Sharpie and a high, yeah, Sharpie to color it. And for the to color the blue, I use a watercolor. The gray was not sure, like this Crayola gray marker thing. And to color, to make the symbols, I just made it on a separate piece of paper, but you couldn't do it on the aircraft, but use pencil and do it really carefully because you, you don't want to make a mistake on there. And that's how it looks like. And also I forgot to show you how to make the ventilation for the exhaust, for the engines are. Oh yeah, and also where the cannons are. This is optional, you could like put sharpie on your finger and like smear it around the cannons. So it looks like, I don't know, like it's been used in fire because most airplanes have like black stuff around the cannons. I'm not sure what, the, what it is. But it looks like burnt marks from the bullets in the, I don't know. For the vent ventilation things and the side exhaust things, you just like cut out like a bunch of squares and just glue it on to th do it uh, aircraft kind of. So I'm, I'm the video is basically done already. Just showing you a slideshow of how it looks like because it looks really nice my best airplane I've ever made so far and I'm sure my next one will be better and better and by like a month later it will be just another airplane because that, my airplanes are progressing so much now the cockpit opens 
and then you can see that chair inside and everything. This actually, this airplane broke a little. The wings broke. So now it doesn't really fly. And it's basically just like all destroyed now. I might fix it later, but I don't know. I never have time anymore. Actually, I've been trying to make this video for like the past two months. And I finally got time to do it. And yeah, I've been so busy lately, like the past two months. I think things should be getting better now, but starting next week. Man, it's I just I'm, I'm in love with this airplane. It's so colorful and everything. The colors are really bright. Like it's different from all my other airplanes. The F4U to say was actually kind of bright as well. It's, not, it's a bright blue. Bright navy blue actually. Looks really nice. But this airplane is like really colorful, like yellow, blue. Looks really nice. It's a contrast between yellow and green and blue. Well thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.